Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel everybody Today I will be Let me get the mic on I will be breaking down games number 10 to 18 From this past weekend's weekend league All the games were streamed over on Twitch Only a few people were there though I have 690 subs and on YouTube And virtually no one is over there So if you haven't yet make sure to follow the Twitch Link is in the description Also my follow my Twitter I post there when I go live on Twitch So you never miss one of my live streams I'm going to stream every weekend league from now on over there Make sure you go over there. Also, some other links you'll find in the description. The one to my PayHip. All my ebooks are over there, over there for free. You can click on a button, it'll send you the file. You'll be good to go. Also, make sure to watch my Strong Close ebook if you really want to understand what I'm doing in this video. Pretty much every game I played was played out of Strong Close. That's the formation I use most commonly nowadays. I really like it. I broke it all down for free on my YouTube, so make sure to go check that out. Slightly different note, I want to keep doing these videos, so if you if you like them, make sure to rate them with a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I'm really excited for these games because I started off pretty rough. I played some pretty poor games last episode of this Weekend League series. And if you haven't yet watched it, make sure to watch it. It's kind of like going to show you how we got to the record we're at currently. We're currently 7-2, and two, which is pretty tough because two losses in the first nine games. It's kind of an indicator you're not going to get top 100. But I did clutch up during these games. You'll see how I get a lot of wins in a row. It's going to be a whole lot of fun to watch. Hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, let me know if you did. And let's get into it. All right, looking back at the intro, I have to say I sound really coked up. I sound like I have a lot of energy. But I feel like this reflects this game perfectly or these games perfectly. I really went on a roll. We're starting off against Matt Ballin. You can see driving down the field at the opponent's 32-yard line in strong close right now. I have to mention it every video right there throwing it to the flat because that's what we do. We're disciplined. We take our flats because that's important in Madden 21. Right there, Iran commits. Throw the ball. Uh, I want to mention again. I mention this pretty much every video. All of the, all the offense you can see right here is free. Available on YouTube as I write here just out of Justin. I've been sending that cornerback or that safety, Buddha Baker, every play up until this point. Now I put him in a hard flat and now we're taking him back for six. Perfect adjustment by me and he already hit enough. So eight and two at this point. Let's get into the next game against Gravy Baby. This is a game that I actually uh, edited down and showed the full game on my YouTube. You can check it up there in the link above. It was a really good game. I not, I'm just going to show the scoring place right here because I already showed the entire game. Don't, don't really need to waste any time. You feel me? But yeah, I, I went pretty clutch in these games. This uh, is a beautiful cover to beat. And if you haven't watched the video yet uh, of me breaking down the strong close, you will see that this is one of the focal points of this offense. You really have to be able to punish people uh, that run as right there, I'm just going to stand for a touchdown. You really have to punish people that run cover two against you because otherwise you don't get them into the coverage they want, which is cover three. And cover three is it's 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 a little bit easier. I don't know what I'm saying, guys. It's kind of rough. Cover three is a little bit easier to attack than cover two, in my opinion, out of strong close, except for these couple of plays that beat cover two. So you really want to scare them away from cover two. In overtime right now, he kicks his field goal. I got the stop. I have to say this dude's offense was tough. Uh, he actually rep he replied to one of my videos. He was he, ma he made a comment. Appreciate you uh, for watching this. He was a good dude. He he just said GG's. And basically, it's all GG's at the end of the day. Right there, playmaker. Get it in for the touchdown. You can see me getting hyped up down there in the uh, right-hand corner. Down. Yeah. So 9-2 at this point, playing in the Packers Stadium, Lambeau Field, gotta love it. I think that is one, this is one of the prettiest stadiums uh, all over the league. Right there, I get the sack. Try to go for the strip. Don't get it, but who's there? Uh, Buda Baker is there to bail me out. Bail me out. My bad, I spoke. Um, I have a 25-25 Seahawks Cardinals theme team, and I have to say, it is one of the smarter things that I've done in Madden. This entire year, investing in a theme team, it's definitely worth it right there, 4th and 13. Nothing is open, he just throws it right at me. Uh, Buda Baker, good job. Buda Baker is actually a dog. I think I have him at 95 speed, I'm not quite sure, but I think. And a 95 speed safety, what's not to love? Right there, throwing it to the halfback, and he reaches for it. Edwin James, he's a big part of my offense just because he has that reach for it, which means that he's going to reach for some extra yards, even if he doesn't get that many uh, yards just in the open field. And he's also pretty quick, has some nice spin moves. So he's he's just a juggernaut. He's a big part of the offense. This DRC right there gets the pick. One thing that I say every video, but I ha just have to repeat it because you guys have to do it. 
make sure to sub in uh, cornerbacks at safety right there. Throw the strike over the middle of the field. If I throw that later, it might be a pick. So just found the window. He tries to use a rush me right there. I step up. I step out too far. And I don't slide. That is one thing in Madden 21. You really don't have to slide. It's just so unlikely that you fumble. But right there with the strip, it's a little bit more likely. But that throws this beautiful throw. Beautiful throw. He, ex he anticipated my user. But he goes for it. First and 10 right here on my 19. He thinks he can get a touchdown. But he can't. Guess what? Now the time is going to run out on you. So kind of tough for him. He played that pretty poorly. Just take your three, man. Be smart about it. But, talking about be smart about it, yeah, what an absolute Stevie Reed. Should have thrown that way earlier. He was open for a, ha for a hot minute. Um, Sam Mills takes it back for a touchdown. Gotta say, it's Sam Mills, it's really worth it. So, grind, uh, grind you guys. Uh, get that Sam Mills up. I'm trying to go for a cover three beater right here. But, it's not there. Gonna throw the corner out to the tight end. Now, you see, I'm gonna run one of my favorite plays in the red zone. Throw a high pass. Todd Heap going, coming down with it. And, yeah. This guy really has no clue how to stop me. Once again, check the offensive video, video out. Very nice. Totally for free. He throws it. It looked kind of open, but yeah, with these cornerbacks, they just break so fast. Get the pa pass breakups. Uh, second guy gets in there. Pause. Um, gets the pick. And now, on fourth and four, which is going to take my three. I drained out the clock perfectly. Under one and a half minutes. He goes for it in fourth and 28, which is pretty much just a prayer. Uh... I make sure this, the bits comes in. That's all I have to do. Right there, just kneel, kneel it out. He didn't call it time, any timeout, which is good for him. Appreciate the sportsmanship. Game is over. 10-2 and two at this point. Just so you guys know, if you haven't seen it yet, which I don't know why it wouldn't have, but now then the bottom left corner, you can see I'm always going to keep score of my record just so you guys always know where I'm at in my weekend league. 10-2 and two right now. 3rd and 4 on my opponent's drive. He throws a beautiful streak up the middle of the field. Eric Ebron, good catch. Uh, for my opponent, second and four right here. He sends out a couple of people, finds the dot up the seam. I'm pretty disappointed. That was pretty poor defense. Fourth and three right here. If he gets the stop, it's going to be tough. DK Metcalf just a little bit too fast. He's got 97 speed on my team. One of the fastest wide receivers in the game. I think there are only a couple of receivers faster. One guy that comes to mind, obviously, is Tyree Kill. As yes, right here, Terry McLaurin reaches for it. Good job, Terry. Scary Terry. He gets the kickoff, and you know, if I show a kickoff, then must be a dramatic play right there he gets out uh, except for he jukes and then Taylor Mays comes and we get the ball at 29 yards and I love those free turnovers didn't do anything right there just flicked the right stick up but I have to say I never get fumbles so this felt kind of good got a touchdown off of it so already the game is pretty tough for my opponent uh, I forced a fumble on the kick return didn't do anything and then I got a touchdown he's under pressure I used a rush right there uh, fell for the play action however and so that's kind of annoying didn't get the sack, got the pick though, and DK Metcalf just a little bit sticky. Did not mean to outstick him, I just wanted to stay in bounds, but it worked out for a touchdown. So, yeah, amazing, amazing. Um, he probably would have had the in route, he just throws it up, nothing doing pretty much. Um, up two touchdowns already, but I get the crossing route, and you guys can see, just fit it in, just fit it in. And I take my three, except he doesn't want me to take my three. It's over pretty much. I'm, I think I got get the ball in the second half, get three points, up three possessions with ball. That's just a GG. Playing against stops, I mean right here. Opponent's top three. These are my top three, as you can see. All three part of the Cardinals team team. Love to see it. Got the crosser open. Very nice. Uh, just fit the feet in. That was kind of a scary animation. Whenever you get one of those, you're kind of holding your breath because you're never sure what you're gonna get. Got the feet in. Not got any. Didn't get, get anything going after that though. Pretty disappointing. Um, good play by him on that post route. I thought, I thought I was gonna be able to play that. Guess not. He made the play. He runs the ball. And second and 17 right here. I'm going for a cover three meter, which is kind of stupid. Not gonna lie, kind of stupid. Uh, but I get the broken play. Thank God, Todd Heap is so fast, man. He's not even fully powered up. I powered him up fully with the Cardinals team team now, so he's at 90 speed right now. That is fast. That is fast. Before this weekend, he was or during this weekend, good throw by me. I uh, just outswerved him a little bit, kind of glitched out the zone. Before this weekend, he was not. As I need the pick right there, please give me that. Yay! Thank you. Next time, just making sure. Next time we'll get that right. 
Um, I thought it was a good option route. I had, I had a man up. Probably wasn't the smartest decision, but uh, what can you do? Hindsight is 2020. Um, now with 90 speed, he's probably the, one of the best tight ends in the game. I think Chris Cooley is better. But other than that, I really like Todd Heap on this Cardinal Steam team. He sends the user rush at me. That was one thing that he tried all game. He just wasn't consistent with it at all. Not gonna lie. Like, I had a pretty good... Uh, good Good post route. Just got a couple of the posts on third and seventeen. That's the thing that's gonna get him the yards, and I'm just, I'm just too dumb to stop it. Once again, good post drop by him. Just threw it in time. A little bit later, and my zone might have played. Um, good play by him though. Like can't be mad. Right there, my zone just, uh, my, I manned him up. On, uh, this, I manned the safety up on the post. Um, and he just got beat. That's, that's all that happened right there. He runs it in. I take all my time out, which is kind of frustrating because now I'm not as flexible. Um, yeah, pff, weird phrasing, but we'll go with it. Um, I like the corner out, the corner out, my bad. The crosser, playmaker up the field, outswerve him, and I'm gonna spike the ball. I got 26, not nay, 27 seconds left. Gotta go to the end zone. Um, I see the post, the zone is kind of dropping back slowly, and I make a bad pass. Probably the, maybe the low pass, I don't know. I don't know, it kind of looks rough. Maybe I shouldn't have thrown that, just taking my chance on the other play. I thought I, I thought I had seen him. And no, I guess I didn't. 11 and 3 at this point. That is really ugly. Like, that's almost as ugly as 72. Nevertheless, playing against Capo MH. And at this point in the weekend, I'm kind of frustrated. Because I know that I'm not going to have many chances to come back. I'm, I'm going to have to play perfectly against these opponents that I can beat. Because you can't, at this point, you can't take any cheap losses. If you play against the top 100 opponent, then obviously it's going to be tough. You're going to be 50 50 in one of those games. But against Capo MH right here, I have to play perfectly as I give up the post right here or not play perfectly just I mean just not make any dumb mistakes that's all that is um, that's all that is um, he runs the fullback dive for here I didn't get the set, uh, defense set up in time kind of frustrating thought I sh should have stopped him right there make him at least consider running another play as I thought a beautiful cover two beater once again all in the free ebook on the YouTube on the YouTube's for a touchdown very very big for me to score that touchdown now he's going to that a little bit of the um u trips out of P patriots i kind of have defense for that i kind of left up some defense cover for a match is pretty tough on it out of big nickel out of the place excuse me as i have to burp right there um cover for a match the play is actually called cover for a match that's a pretty nice job because it's it's a weird coverage people are not used to facing it that is one of the things that i do right there he has the post wide open for a touchdown gets absolutely cheated Thank you, I love you guys. Uh, third and two right here, he goes to the same post route. This time, he might, I went to a cover three, he might have had the cover three beater. It's just so close to the end zone that it's really difficult to fit that in, especially if I get a throw out of sack, obviously. Then that, then it's a pretty, pretty much a guaranteed uh, pick. As I have another chance, field goal range right here. I try to get out of bounds, which I do, thank God, no timeouts, had to get out of bounds right there. Get the three points before the half, and we're in a similar spot as we were in the in one of the previous games where I was gonna be up uh, three possessions at half. It's pretty much impossible for my opponent to come back right here as he throws a beautiful post. Should have stuck with it. I thought he was gonna check down, but in that spot, I have to know he's only looking for the post. He's looking for deep plays, and I just didn't use it properly right there. Bail him though. Uh, thank you, Buda Baker, for getting up there, getting the pick for me. And this game is over. Third and twenty-one. He's not gonna have any of it pretty much. I'm just gonna run the ball just trying to get the game over Just chew as much clock as possible and he realized all right this game is over I would have at least taken another two minutes off the clock and then it's pretty much a GG three possessions within one quarter and 45 seconds, that's just too difficult. No chance. He's gonna get it 12 and 3 at this point I have to clutch up still 12 and 3 not a good record double drags i had to choose one maybe i could have done a better job like delaying the read maybe somebody would have gotten in nevertheless good route concept he caught me in a spot where i had to choose he made the correct read but only got three points out of it out of it that is one of the signs that i look for can i stop people in the red zone and then yeah one of the things that i'm pretty annoyed with myself is that i sometimes just think that the slant is gonna win even though I see it that it's not open, I just throw it because it's. I'm just so used to throwing it. As I leave the slant right here wide open, I don't know why I did. I think I just fell asleep. I thought he was going to throw it to another route and I just gave up on the play. I am going to switch to trips tight end because that is one thing that I kind of feel better than a better about than strong close against man. It's just more spread out. There's, there are 
similar ways of beating man coverage, but it's just it's just more spacing between. It's diff more difficult to use her. So that's just something that I wanted to mention right there. He throws it right at me. He had one person wide open. Maybe the drag also, but the post from the tight end was wide open. He should have thrown that. Instead, he gives me the ball right back. I'm going for the same thing right here. DK Metcalf, 97 speed against Deion Sanders. I think it's Deion Sanders only had 96 speed, if I remember correctly. And I just get the touchdown. Throwing it to the running back right there. Probably could have baited it, but I just banked on the fact that he, got, he wouldn't see it. Got a touchdown off of it. Kind of lucky, you can say. I just think, no, not lucky. It was a touchdown. Really nice. I was just ready to bait back to the middle of the field, but he just gives it to me. Come on. You gotta be smarter than that. This guy was actually not bad on defense. I mean, he was, but um, he was good enough on defense to the point where he, sh he shouldn't give up points. He shouldn't force it right there getting points. Um, he throws a very smart route right there. I sent the blitz. And he just puts his, puts the smoke screen out there. Very smart adjustment by him. Never put a hard flat out there, right there. That is frustrating because how fast is that tight end and how fast is my, are my deep stones? And we just don't react to it. Kind of frustrating right there. Those are that Dion Sanders. And as we know, Dion is pretty fast. I don't know if you heard it. Dion is pretty fast. Steve McNair, he's kind of keeping up, not gonna lie. He looked pretty speedy right there, but not speedy enough to catch. Uh, Neon Dion Sanders, appreciate you for taking it back for six, my buddy. Um, as right there, I'm going for another one of those streaks, but right there, he wasn't in, in good position, and that's why it's kind of tough to run these streaks. Sometimes it looks like like he's open. I feel like he had a step right there, but it was just not big enough for a step. So, you have to be careful with that. That's something I learned. I hold him to three, though, which is huge. Right there, I beat him cleanly off the snap. I just have to watch the user. Bites off just at the right moment. I throw it just in time. If I, if I had thrown that a little bit earlier, he might he might have my receiver might have had to wait in the end zone right there. It was a streak. Pff, frustrating. I think I had, had that manned up. Um, and right there, he throws it up the seam for cover two beater as I accidentally stripped. So that's also annoying. Right there, he tries to throw it to the stick route to the tight end. Not open. Not open. Got defense for that around here, my boy. Um, running a lot of man beaters. Yeah, Tyler Lockett just getting open. If you want to get that trip side Andy book, I, I will, promise I was going to finish it by last week. This week is also not going to happen because I have exams uh, next week and I have to study up for that. Might not even be able to play the full weekend league. We'll see. I'll let you guys, of course, know over on the Twitter. Right there, he quits. 13-3 at this point, so we're kind of salvaging the record a little bit. Still not where I want to be at, but it's respectable and I'm getting somewhere. I'm also kind of feeling like I'm getting better. I feel like I'm getting in rhythm. And that is always one thing that's important. Right there, he cheats me. He absolutely cheats me. I know that's a cover three beater uh, because the wheel just attracts attention from the deep third on the outside. But I had it inverted. I had it inverted. Come on, bro. Give me that second inch inches right here. That's pretty much a free play. I just go for the conservative uh, slant route to DK Metcalf inside the red zone. And if you guys know, inside the red zone, there's one thing that I look for. And it's a crosser from the solo side right receiver. Yeah. It's just, it's just nice. The crosser beats man. It gets over top of many zones. You need specific zone drops to guard that. And even you if you have them, sometimes these um, crossers just get outside of them or get over top and outside of the deep, so uh, deep zones. It's really difficult to guard those. And you just have to take them. Just be patient. Take them. Right there, Terry McLaurin. Just too fast, too fierce, baby. 14 to 3. That's always a good uh, good spot to be in. He ran a really interesting offense, not gonna lie. I was a big fan of it right there. He just throws it right at me. He kind of knew how to dot out of it. It's just that with these not meta formations, you really need a lot of plays to make them work. You really need to be able to figure out what, what I'm what I'm gonna run next. And otherwise, if I find one defense for it, if, or if I kind of like make you doubt your read reads it's just very difficult to run these formations because they are not so good it's not so easy to read a lot of the times and you just really cannot make a mistake as i make a mistake right here um my guy stops in the middle of the field i can see that right here in the replay he just stopped that that was even before i threw it i don't know why he stopped maybe he got bumped and then was like nah i'm good um however that was really frustrating as that is really frustrating too perfect defense and he just fits it in i don't know that that's gonna keep the drive alive and after that he was dotting can't even lie he was dotting quite nicely and then i get that completion lucky maybe if he clicks on with taylor mace forces a hit stick then i probably drop that ball but that is of course risky because of 
you can see me in the bottom right corner it looks like i'm laughing i'm really crying like this shit is annoying as fuck if i get those thought of sex i'm i'm fucking pissed um i don't know how to avoid them i'm just so undisciplined right there good slam by him kind of tough sent the blitz he just threw the perfect read down 10 points at half which is frustrating because i know that i can beat this mr frank guy first and 10 second half first play of the second half and he thinks that he can just throw a blind read and not gonna not get punished for it. you can see me kind of in the bottom of my corner sitting up in my chair leaning forward a bit that's what you need to do if you want to come back in the game just go just get three points though fourth and nine right here i'm sending the blitz again getting a little bit of justy not gonna lie i like the defense right here he sent he threw that out drought a lot a lot a lot a lot on that drive i took it away in the most important play of the drive and then he just couldn't make his progression fast enough right there todd heap on the cross once again one of the best tight ends in the game right now especially on my theme team really like that guy going back to him right here pat watkins on the opponent's defense just out of reach didn't quite get there he's 6'5 I'm sometimes scared throwing it at him just because, yeah, he's 6'5 and he gets good animations, right? They're good crosser by him. First time, pretty much all game, I don't have a curve flat out there. Third and 11 right here, I go for the same blitz and this time he adjusted. I was so, I was so stupid. I was so mad at myself because the thing is, I thought that exact thing was going to happen just before I snapped the ball. Um, I just did not readjust. I did not take advantage of me thinking that. I just didn't trust my instincts. And that's one thing that I was pretty annoyed because I thought that exact thing was going to happen. I just didn't trust it. Right there, uh, Reggie gets a little bit sticky. Uh, not sticky, glitchy, that's what I meant. And right here, I'm trying to fit that ball in. Oh my god, oh my god, that's so frustrating. That's so frustrating. Turn 11 right here, he goes for it again. Nothing is there, though we clutch up. That's so big that I got to stop right there because now I still have a chance. Get to the, my opponent's 38-yard line, and as you can see, we have the lasers on deck, baby. If you haven't watched the video on the strong close formation yet, why haven't you? Perfect read by me. He goes for the cover three. But I invert though. He sends out the running the running back. My bad. The tight end on the delay fade, which is frustrating. I thought I had him bagged. I really did. I uh, sent the pressure at him right there. And oh my god, what a beautiful play by Buda Baker. Love that guy. Um, 95 speed. We're trying to take it back. Not really trying to take it back. My bad. My bad. I was not trying to take it back because now I can just two off the clock. Take my three points. Hopefully we don't get a block because that would be unfortunate. Okay, we're not, we're not gonna get blocked, guys. Don't worry about it. I've seen so few uh, field goal blocks. Kind of tough. Um, 15 and three right now. Uh, playing against I eat camp. I don't even know why I'm showing this game to you guys. Maybe I'm just showing one too many. Guys. And anyways, you get an extra game. So how about that? He comes out in trip side end. He gets that. Come on, EA. Come on, EA. We gotta we gotta stop with that. Like I thought I had him bagged perfectly. He gets into gun bunch and just starts lasering. Good post by him. I was getting him in a lot of fourth downs though, and I felt like I kind of had a beat on what he was doing. Bad, 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 bad. The cross was probably gonna be covered. Uh, first and ten right here, motion style hit across. That's one thing that he always did. He motioned the outside receiver across. It looked like I was going to the corner, but no, I'm baiting down on Tyreek Hill. I was frustrated at that drive because I had him in a lot of bad spots for him. A lot of good spots for me, obviously, by uh, turning it around on him. But when it counted, I made the play. I got a pick six off it, and you love to see it right there. He almost made that throw. That was kind of a laser. He made the read just in time. It just, it's just a difficult route to throw. And I'm going for the same cover 2 video again. Guys, if you haven't watched the video yet, why, why are you still? After this video, click the link. It's up there in, in the info box. To this strong close. He goes to strong close right here. He throws an absolute steamer. See, even that guy, even though he just threw me a pick 6 on a straight up lurk. Even that guy can run strong close. So if you want to get the full breakdown, just watch the video, man, please. And subscribe. Goes for the cross right here. Beautiful play by him. Kind of frustrated. I thought my zone dub was going to play that. But never mind. See how good those crossers in the red, in the red zone are. Throwing it out to Adrian James. Right there making a couple of people miss. That's always one thing that you want. Because I felt like this guy was good. I felt like he knew what he was doing. You have to get some easy yards on those guys. Very early right there. I thought a touch pass. Very rarely is the touch pass the right move. In that case though. Beautiful touch pass. I'm pretty bad at them. Generally, a good rule of thumb is that I'm gonna use them at the wrong time. Right there, though, beautifully, uh, beautifully executed the touch pass. He holds on to that after the hit stick. Come on, man. 
got the t uh, got the three points off it. He gets the touchdown. He's only down three points, but he took off a lot. But he took a lot of time off the clock right there, dropping back a little bit too far for my liking. But I got the ball off just before. Uh, I think that was Lawrence Taylor could shed me right there, running halfback dive up the middle, getting a little bit excited. Wanted to slide down there. I accidentally pressed triangle for a dreadle, which is scary, pretty scary, not gonna lie. But we got the win, you guys, which is absolutely amazing. I love you, not I love. You love to see it. If you enjoyed the video, let me know by hitting the like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Turn on notifications. Follow the Twitch to see everything that I just showed you. Live.